What's up everybody, how's it going? Uh, today's video is going to be my top six baits for 2016. Um, these are baits that I've used throughout the year that were successful for me at some stage in there. I'm going to go ahead and go over the baits. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about them and then I'm going to show you footage of me catching fish with these baits. Uh, and then at the end of the video I'll have some extra fishing footage of what I did on Saturday. I fished a little bit on Saturday for you guys so here we go. Number six and these are not really in a particular order where I'm ranking you know higher than others. It's just the ones I really did in the order of how often I use the baits. So number six the chartreuse and white chatterbait. This is a 3 8 ounce Z-Man custom chatterbait with the trailer which this trailer came with it. It was actually white, but it's kind of dirty now. So, had a lot of success with this uh, early in the season when I first started fishing. I used chatter baits a lot. Um, I found success in those. Not a whole lot of, of big fish, but definitely confidence uh, in fishing. So, um, yeah, I, when I first started, I started using it on a spinning reel, medium, fa uh, medium fast action rod nothing fancy and then I went and used it on my uh, Boo Garcia Black Max which is a medium rod. A medium rod with the Boo Garcia rod and reel uh, the gear ratio I think is like 6, 3 to 1 or something like that. Not too fast, not too slow. And so I uh, really had done some good success with that. Alright, we'll get to the footage and then we'll get back to the countdown so here we go. Oh, got one. Oh, man. Oh, crushed it right by the boat. Oh, good. This gracious. All right. Ah. Choke that thing. Holy cow. Okay. Number five is going to be rattle trap or lipless crankbait, whatever you want to call it. These are cotton cordell lures. These are two dollar lures on clearance at Walmart. Had a lot of success early in the year with the. Red Craw color. And then I also had a lot of success pond fishing this year with the basically like a sexy shad color. It's like chartreuse, white, orange, yellow, green, blue. So, a lot of success with those. You'll see those footage and the biggest fish that were caught with those lures. And then we'll continue with the countdown. Choked it. Alright. Oh man, not as big as I thought, but man, that's a solid one. Probably two and a half pounds, three pounder. She was not playing around. Alright, she's uh Nice little toad. Get her back in there. It's a good one. Real good one. Oh, 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 am I gonna land this sucker? Come on. Come to Papa. Oh my goodness. Oh, come on. You choked that bait. Okay, got it. Nice bass. Holy cow. Look at this chunk. Alright guys, I'm back at the same. Number four. The Senko. Gary Yamamoto Senko. Had a lot of success with the Senko. Texas rigged, wacky rigged. A lot of good fish this year out of the pond. Caught a few out of the lake. So. Definitely can never go wrong with a Senko. Always should be in your arsenal. Check it out, see the fish that were caught in this upcoming uh, clips of the fish. And uh, we'll continue with our countdown. Oh. Let's not do that. It will be okay. Oh, feisty. Good hook set. Luckily, right through the top of the mouth. Right where you want that. Man, first fish of the day, like three pounds, holy cow. Coming in at number three. 
this little guy right here, also known as the Ned Rig. This little finesse bait saved me a lot this year um, in tournaments both tournament fishing and just normal fishing. This was a great go-to bait when I couldn't get anything else, the bass or finicky, or they just wanted, you know, something small, something subtle, something, you know, a different presentation. So, check out the video of me catching stuff with the Ned Rig. Oh, 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 oh. That's a, that's a spot. Yep. Pretty good size. She's pregnant. Number two on the list is going to be a Yum Christy Craw. And I had success with the green pumpkin color, but I'm out of green pumpkin, so this is a blue, black and blue on a arky jig head it makes it stand up in the water like this so nothing fancy but I picked this up this bait I think is like three bucks at Walmart and I had a lot of success with this I was not expecting it to do as well as it did uh, it landed me a lot of fish it became a new confidence bait of mine something that was a go-to something cheap inexpensive that I could get locally and so yeah I think the bait speaks for itself. Hope you guys enjoy this footage and we'll get down to our number one. Yes, you do. Well, you're a lot bigger than I thought you were. Gotcha. Woo! Mm. All right. Oh, buddy, that's another nice good one. All right, and the number one bait for me for 2016 was another new bait that I picked up at Walmart is the Tommy Biffle Bug. It's Biffle Bug with the Biffle Head, which is like a uh, swivel, football head swivel, um, weighted setup. So, this bait right here probably one of my most successful baits in catching the bigger fish. I started using this bait and I just fell in love with it. It's got a hollow inside so you can stick scent in there, you can dive the tail, you can put the hook through. I mean there's different ways you can do this. You don't even have to use the swivel head. You can use, you know, just Texas rig, whatever. It's a, it's a decent sized bait. I think it's like four inches I believe roughly. So. Great bait, a lot of great fish caught with this. I highly recommend it. This is the green pumpkin color. You can get this at Walmart. Uh, it's made by Gene LaRue Company, uh, and it's called the Tommy Biffle Bug. So these have been my top six baits for 2016. Some of these will make my arsenal again in 2017, but I'm gonna be switching things up even more. I'm about to place a large order at Tackle Warehouse to restock and get ready for the 2017 fishing season. So you guys will get to see that video hopefully in a week or so. So yeah. Uh, enjoy the footage of me catching bass with the biffle bug. Oh my god. No. Oh. 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 Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, just right through these. Oh my god. <laughs> oh look at this fatty oh my god all right and we're back all right so before we get into the footage i want to take a moment to say you know i've been sick this last week i was sick you know four or five days i had no energy you could tell in my new year's video i just really didn't have a lot of energy i've since re, re uh recuperated since then i've got a lot of energy back i'm kind of feeling myself again so I went out and decided to do a little bit of fishing even though I wasn't feeling good. Um, I caught some fish, wasn't great, wasn't horrible, but you know, that's how winter fishing goes. You know, nobody goes out expecting a lot of numbers in the winter time, especially when it's cold and there's been a mix between hot temperatures, cold temperatures, and the weather can't make up its mind. So I hope you guys enjoy the footage. Uh, don't forget to rate, 
comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on Saturday. There we go. You might have just told me where the fish were. Thank you, you're nice and cold. There we go, that's a little bass. Little drop shot bass right here. You're nice and cold, sir. Freezing to be exact. Not a bad little bass. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. Quick release.